Hey guys, I just wanted to make a little video of my solar panels here and the, the way my whole system's set up. I just added a new grid tie inverter to try to squeak a little more power out of this array. Oh, here there's 21 150 watt solar panels. I actually have two grid tie inverters outside right under this array. There's the wind max. Hopefully we'll get some wind one of these days. Get that thing working. Okay, this solar panel here is actually just for the fan on my power jack 3000 watt grid tie inverter. The fan has never come on on that inverter on its own, so I just wired it to that solar panel. You can see behind the black flap there. It's hard to see. You can see the bottom of it. That's a 3000 watt grid tie inverter. About two feet long. Up here is the my newer grid tie inverter. It's a 500 watt. I just hooked that up yesterday. You can see down here, this array right now is putting out 1,220 watts, which isn't bad. So I have 18 panels run to the big grid tie inverter. Then I have three panels separated to run this new inverter. You can see my bus bars in the back here. I don't know if they ever showed you guys. These are just copper pipes. That's what I use for bus bars. May not be the best thing in the world to use. But I had the bottom one, positive bar, covered with a little cover insulator. And I have these little junctions all the way through here. Little bus bars. So the top rail is all negatives, and the bottom rail is all positives. I have a ground stake in the ground there. And here I have a DC disconnect, or yeah, DC disconnect. An amp meter, it's a 200 amp meter. Down here is a voltmeter. The positive wire and the positive bus bar comes through the disconnect through this little fuse. It's like a 70 amp fuse and then right to the grid tie inverter. So that's that array. And then out back I have I think I have nine 15 watt Harbor Freight panels on the roof and one 80 watt sharp panel up there also. So there's 10 panels on the roof. Actually this wire here on the ground. That's the AC line that comes all the way from the solar array back there. All the way around the edge of the yard. All the way down. It's about 130 feet or something. And down into my basement. Now back here I have one more 80 watt panel, it's a store bought on the right there. And then these two other ones are roughly 80 watters. But those are DIY panels. Someday I'll get that other 80, one, 80 watt one up on the roof with the others. I'm not sure if we can see the ones on the roof because my awning's out. Probably not. I'll try to hold the camera up there. Oh yeah. I don't know if the camera's getting it or not, but so that's the whole system. The solar. And then down in the basement. I have another little grid tie inverter down here. 
This little grid tie inverter here runs all the panels that we saw on the roof and the three that were on the ground. So she's plugging like right along pretty good. Up here I just have a little LED light set up. So right now all the combined panels are putting out 1,257 watts. You can see the panels on the roof are only putting out 118. The, the amp or the kilowatt meter on the right is the panels that are on the roof. The kilowatt meter on the left is combined the big array outside and the ones on the roof. It's a little bit of overcast today, so these readings aren't too bad. Up on the top there is the charge controller and the dump load for the Winmax. I have the ProStar here. I can flick a switch here. If you see I got zero amps. 12.5, my batteries are a little low. Zero amps. I can flick the switch. All the panels that are on the roof and the three panels that are outside. We'll go through there now. So you got 12 amps. So I just usually run it through the grid tie inverter here. Alright guys, I just figured I'd give you a little something to watch. I think I gained about 150 watts with that new grid tie inverter that's outside. Oh, and the AC line that comes in from the yard out there goes through here, through here, comes up through, and it goes into this breaker. I think that's a, yeah, 30 amp breaker. And then the line from that breaker goes right out through the wall here. through this conduit, through another wall, then it actually goes right out into a 30 amp breaker in my main fuse panel. So that's it. I'll keep you guys updated, see if we can squeak a little more power out of this array. I was hoping to get 1500 watts out of it, but we'll see. Yeah, about 1270 right now. Alright, sorry for the long video. Thanks for watching.